Yo, what's good YouTube? I'm back with another reaction video and we got a Larry Bird interview in 1984 and we also got a Larry Bird interview in 1987 so uh, I got two videos in one so I hope everybody enjoys this and uh, yeah, let's get straight into the video man subscribe if you're new hit that like button turn on that bell man I'm uploading every single day so if you love somebody that upload every single day man and uh, if you loving my channel, you definitely get videos every day, man. But uh, yeah, let's get straight to the video, man. I deeply, deeply appreciate y'all so much, too, man. I really deeply, deeply appreciate y'all, man. I see all y'all comments and everything, and I try my best to reply to everybody's comments. But uh, yeah, let's get straight to this video, man. So we definitely got two videos in one, y'all. So let's get with this one. I got a question on a completely other subject. I'm with Public TV, Channel 2. I would like to know, um, I'm doing a piece about management style of uh, Casey Jones versus Bill Fitch. I wonder if you could describe the difference. Well, Casey's uh, a lot more laid back than Coach Fitch was. Uh, I felt Coach Fitch was an excellent uh, basketball coach, one of the best I've ever played for. Uh, he knew the game in and out and he worked very hard. Uh, Casey's the type of guy that uh, is very knowledgeable. He's been around the game his whole life and uh, I've always had uh, Great respect for both of them, and um, it's, it was sad last year when Coach Fitch left. But now we got Casey, and I'm very happy with him. Is it easier to work with? Well, I don't know about easier. Uh, uh, he's not as demanding as Coach Fitch was. Uh, Coach Fitch wanted you to be per perfect in every phase of the game, which is very impossible. But uh, it's not bad work for a guy like that because if you know he wants you to be perfect, uh, you know you have an opportunity to be perfect. They both obviously win. <clears throat> well, they're both winners, you know, and it, it takes a lot of talent and a lot of pride and, and a lot of teamwork to, to win a championship. But, um, you know, Coach Fitch was a, a very tough individual and he expect um, nothing but results, and uh, he usually got them. And, and I'd say Coach KC can just look at his past and his coaching records. He's always been successful. Is he friends? Are you friends with KC more than uh, Fitch? Well, I don't know more or less, but um, I respect the, both the men more so than anybody I've ever been associated with. All right, that was his, that was his uh, interview, 1984. That was a nice one right there. So I guess they switched up coaches at that time. Huh? I guess when KC came in, KC, KC. All right, y'all, let's get straight to this next one. I got another one right here, 1987. Let's see what this is for. What is it about the Nets that give you guys trouble? Well, they played us real well in Boston. They played a lot better in Boston than they did tonight. But uh, tonight we just lucked out. We made the plays when we had to and uh, hit the big shots. And our defense was horrendous in the first half and early in the third, but it got better. And uh, once our defense gets better, uh, the offense takes care of itself. How much of a difference is it with uh, Paris out of the game? Well, he's a key to our defense. Uh, he clogs up the middle, and we can send our guys to him uh, night in and night out. But uh, if when he's not there, there's a gap. There's no question about that. We just have to uh, cover up for each other a little bit better, and, and hopefully we can rebound with, with uh, the teams we play against. But we miss a, a lot when he's not in there. Jim Paxson played a great game today. How well is he working into the Celtic system? Well, he's playing pretty well. He played another great game tonight. He hit the big basket when we needed it and, and played very good defense. We brought uh, three guards in and, and uh, threw something a little different at him, and it worked. But uh, he's fitting in very fine, and uh, he's doing a great job. Started off a little cold, and then towards the end, you started to pick it up with the three-pointers. Uh, how did you feel about that? Well, I missed some shots early, but uh, uh, early in the game, you can't get too concerned. We were still in the game there uh, when I was missing my shots, but uh, we got down, and, and uh, you know, at the end of the game, they're going to keep going to me. They kept getting the ball in my hands, and uh, if I miss a shot, there's nothing I can do about it. But tonight, uh, down the stretch, they went in for me uh, a little bit better than they did the first uh, quarter. All right, that was a good one right there, man. Definitely never saw those interviews before. If y'all seen those interviews, man, that's what's up. I never, that was a good one right there. But, uh, yeah, man, uh, you know, sometimes, like you always say, so I know some of y'all say, hey, the short and sweet videos is always the come, kind of be the best ones, you know? But, uh, yeah, man, that's about it, man. I'm on to the next video. Y'all got some more videos uh, y'all want me to do? And, uh, yeah, leave them in the comments. I definitely will do them, man. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that like button. Turn on that bell, man. I upload them every single day. And I deeply, deeply appreciate y'all, man. If it wasn't for y'all, this wouldn't be possible. And, uh, yeah, that's about it, man. I'm on to the next video. And shout out to Dutch T for giving me videos, too, man. But, uh, yeah, for now, I'm out. Love y'all. Peace.